one of the first things and biggest things that a woman can do that destroys a man's confidence is weaponizing his past. For a lot of men, number one, just opening up about their past is, is very difficult to do. They don't do that with everyone. And when they do that with you as a woman, it is a sign of, I trust you, all right? Or at the very least, he wants to believe he can trust you. And that's why he allowed this information to come out. So when a situation then happens later on in the, in the dating or relationship, whatever, where you now use that to hurt him in that moment, not only one, does it make him feel betrayed because here it was, I was, I was open to a woman, I was vulnerable with her, and now she's used this to attack me and, and, and used it to also disrespect me. And you got to understand that for men, we need to be respected in our relationships. So to feel so disrespected by this woman, that alone is going to hurt his confidence. But again, just the fact that you use his past against you when he tried to or when he wants to believe he could trust you in that way. All right. But I want you to understand it's not just about throwing things back in his face that he told you, which again, you have to really be careful not to do that. All right. And please understand there's a difference between simply discussing the past versus weaponizing the past. All right. If you're going to attack him with it, if you're going to insult him with it, if you're going to try to make him feel bad about it, that's attacking him versus if you're inquiring. So, hey, remember that thing you told me and you're digging deeper because you want to learn more. That's OK. But the other part of weaponizing the past that is a common issue is where the man has made a mistake. He hurt you in some kind of way. Let's just say he got mad at you one day and cursed you out and that really hurt your feelings. OK, so now you guys discuss it. And we're working towards being better and communicating better, right? And as he's making this effort, rather than embracing the effort he's making right now, you want to use what he did before to excuse and validate why, you, why you're not willing or, or ready or able to open back up to him or to start pouring back into him what he needs from you. All right. And the reason why this is such a confidence destroyer is because if I'm the man and I genuinely made a mistake and now I'm genuinely working to <clears throat> get back in your good graces to make things better. Right. And you keep reminding me of what I did wrong rather than embracing what I'm now doing right. It makes me feel like what's the point? What am I even doing here? I feel like I can't win. And with the way men think is that if it's not working, what, what's the point of continuing trying to do this? All right. So a lot of men give up in the process of trying to change their behavior, not because they're unwilling to change, but they get to a point where they feel like this is getting me nowhere. You have to focus on not continuously holding the mistake over his head. Not, not dwelling in it, not beating him over the head with it. Instead, focus on, okay, if he's genuinely making an effort, good. And, and my thing is this. Now, if you're going to say to me, well, he hasn't been making that effort. Okay, well, then, then we can get to a discussion about why are we still with the guy. Maybe if he's not willing to make any changes, not making any effort, then that's just a sign of then he, he's just not willing to be serious about making things better with you. So let's end the relationship. But if he is making that effort, you can't overlook that and ignore that because you're going to cause more problems and do more harm than good. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there.